What's going on everyone, NASCAR Joshua 5 here, and since F122 was recently announced, and this is the first game that is really taking effect of the full control from EA, since they purchased Codemasters, I thought it was a good idea to go back and revisit the EA Sports games on the PS2 for F1. Uh, so the first game we're going to be taking a look at here today is F1 Championship Season 2000. This game was released uh, June 6th of 2000. Um, there, I think there was two games that came out that year. There was F1 2000 for the PS1, and then this game for the PS1 and 2. I do, don't have any of the PS1 games, but, for F1, but, except for one of them, I don't have the EA Sports games. So yeah, all these races I'm going to be doing at Imola for each game, and I had to make the video a little short, so, you know, I couldn't show the intros or anything, I had to make it short here. But anyway, I'm playing as Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari, and I'm starting in the back. Uh, this game is pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest. The engine sounds are kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, it's besides that, it's a pretty decent game. The graphics aren't too shabby. It's a pretty old game. Um, here's one thing about the EA Sports games that I don't like for all of them is the AI are ridiculous at the start. Like, there's always a bunch of crashes and smoke and... The AI are just ridiculously slow and messy off the start, so I found that out every single game that I played. So pretty much at the beginning, you're just trying to work your way around the AI and try not to crash into them, although some games I did better at that than others in this recording. Um, also, sorry for the quality in some of these clips. I tried to do the best I could. I recorded them off my phone, so I don't unfortunately unfortunately don't have the uh, equipment to record PS2 games besides my phone pointing it at the TV like I usually do. But anyway, I'm in the Ferrari and working my way around here just trying to get through the AI. Uh, sometimes the AI will also in this game take the corners really fast. I'm um, not really sure why that is. Like you see here the car in front of me. I think that's a Prost car. Not sure about the driver, but um it took the chicane a lot faster, but then as you can see, they're going really slow, and I about hit them there, up to 11th spot. Uh, for each of these races, I'm just going to show about the first lap as well. All these races were four laps each, but I just didn't want the video to be too long. As you see, we're coming up on, I think that's, uh, is that an Arrows, I think? I think that's an orange Arrows, but anyway, this is F1 Championship Season 2000. Handling's not too shabby, it's just the engine sounds are annoying. And now we're going to head to F1 2001. Uh, the engine sounds are much better in this game. The graphics are better, obviously, since it's the next year. And, uh, yeah, the handling isn't too shabby, like I said. It's much more smoother, although the cars don't seem to want to turn as well. And, again, we're at Imola, and I'm playing as Kimi Raikkonen. And, uh, yeah, again, you see all the smoke and just a lot of chaos at the start. I'm trying to just weave my way through, be very cautious... Try not to hit anybody, get past the Jaguar there, and then the orange, I think that's the orange arrows in front of me. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say this game is probably my favorite out of the EA Sports PS2 games. Um, this is the one I've played quite a bit. I'd say this one and F1 Career Challenge, which you will see here shortly. But yeah, this game is pretty fun. I like the handling, although the cars do understeer, but then again I do have the assist on on all the games except for career challenge as I take out the Prost driver there sorry about that but I try not to crash into people here it's just hard when they slam on the brakes in front of you but again just trying to avoid the AI and try not to crash into them as I come up right here and I think I take out the Ferrari by accident and then there's a car smoking up ahead yeah the, the starts in this race and all these games the starts of the races are very chaotic if you start in the back when you're doing quick races so one thing I will say is obviously these games are not very realistic they have very arcadey physics and um, 
I wish I could have these games on. I wish I had a PC first of all, and then I could try these games on that because I think they're a little bit more realistic, especially F1 Career Challenge. But coming to complete the first lap, and I completed it in the fifth spot. And I had some cars up in front of me here as I set the fastest lap. But the next game we're going to move on to is F1 2002. Uh, this game was released in March of 2002. I forgot to mention F1 2001 was released October 2nd of 2001. And really sorry for the quality of this video. I forgot to focus the camera like an idiot. Thankfully it's only one lap so hopefully you all can handle it for a minute. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I couldn't believe when I did that. I always try to focus the camera. And again, as you can see, I take the rear wing off the Sauber and um, just trying to avoid the AI. It's very chaotic, and I definitely hope this year's game is definitely not like that, although I don't believe it will be. Um, but yeah, as you can see, again, get, trying to get past the Toyota, and I'm driving as Juan Pablo Montoya. That's my mom's favorite driver, mainly because he was in NASCAR. Um... She just likes to say his name. But anyway, uh, as we got the BAR Honda right next to me there. But yeah, I'm really sorry for the quality as I go off track here. Got the Jordan in front of me as I'm driving in the Williams. But uh, the handling is pretty much the same as 2001. This game isn't too different from 2001. The handling is pretty much the same. Except this game, you look like you're going a lot faster. The sense of speed is definitely higher. And as you see at the right, as I take out my teammate there almost... On the right of the screen, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there is a slipstream gauge. The slipstream is very powerful, so, you know, that's one thing that they did, which adds to the arcade physics of this game. It's very, like, arcade-y kind of, but as you see it fill up there, and the game gets kind of blurry, and you get, like, a sense of speed. But the final game in this video is one that's pretty, pretty legendary, F1 Career Challenge. This game features four seasons in one game, so 1999... 2000, 2001, and 2002, and I decided to do the 1999 season, and I'm driving as Ralph Schumacher in the Williams. Now this game, on the other hand, the handling I don't like. It's very twitchy, very sensitive, and you can't enable the assist, so you really have to be careful not to lock your brakes up without ABS, and the AI are just even more chaotic. Um, Sony Studios, uh, Sony bought the license for F1 after 2002 for a while, so EA, this was their, this was actually their last game until technically, I guess you could say this year or last year, but, um, yeah, this game has much more twitchy handling and it's very hard to control the car and you lock up the brakes pretty easily and it's a very tricky game, but the four seasons, just the four seasons alone make it my second favorite. Um, this is the game I play a lot besides F1 2001. Uh, those are the two games that I play the most on the PS2. As you see a car going wide, that's my teammate, Alex Sinardi. Um, but again, just trying to avoid the AI at the start. It's very chaotic and um, it's very frustrating to try to avoid them. And especially in this game, if you hit the AI, uh, your car will just spin out. Like if you hit the other cars, you'll pretty much just spin out and you'll be done for I'll actually show an example of that at the end of this here as we come to the end of the lap and my car decides not to steer there, but um, this game is obviously probably the best graphically because it's the newest game, so cut the chicane there a little bit, I cut there, but got past the Sauber and then watch this at the end here. Um, as I'm coming around to finish the race, I'm just minding my own business and watch this up ahead here. There's a car up there and there's a Jordan, I try to avoid it and I just hit it. And thankfully I had a big enough lead where it didn't matter. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to F122 and I can't wait to give it a try. I hope it's a good game. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to. And let me know what your favorite F1 game is, if it's an EA Sports game or not. And I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you next time. See you later, everyone.